So good afternoon everyone students. Since I was in the school today, I thought I'll make a video in the classroom. Okay, so that it will feel like the people are, you know, watching me teasing here in the classroom. Okay, nostalgic feeling, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so let's begin with, in the last video we have discussed the drainage pattern, isn't it? So today I'm going to discuss with you all is the settlement pattern, okay? Different settlement pattern. Uh, the houses which are present over there, okay? How it is present in the map or not in the map actually, how it is present in the, uh, you know, the ground, okay? Now the map which we are seeing, you know, actually it is the aerial view, it is the top view, okay? So we will not be seeing the buildings and all in its original form like this, two story, three story, four like that. The top view will be visible, okay? Will be present, will be presented in the map. So there you will be able to see those kinds of small box are present over there. One will be filled with the rain color. Okay, another one, it will be on the outline will be present. And both will be in the rain color. Okay, those settlements are shown with the rain color, represented with the rain color on the map. Okay, so here those kinds of filled box, if you see, then they are known as Permanent, they are known as permanent hut or the permanent houses. Now, in case if it is not fit on the outline, if it is present, then it is known as temporary houses or the temporary huts. Okay, so students basically we are going to focus mainly on the four different types of settlement patterns. Okay, like the drainage pattern which we have. In the book, maybe there are different. You know the settlement patterns also have been shown, but uh, here I'm going to mainly focus on the four that is more than enough. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to do is the nucleated settlement. Nucleated settlement is also termed as compact settlement, or it is also known as cluster settlement. Okay, as the name suggests over here, new created means nucleus, the main focus, or the focal uh, point also we can say, okay, from where the other things emerge. Now, compact over here, when the houses which are present over there, they are very close to each other, compact in nature, understood? Not like, you know, the scattered man, not in that way, very close to each other. Those kinds of settlements are known as compact settlement or new created settlement. That also we can clearly absorb in the map. Okay, like in case if you have nucleated settlement, okay, those kinds of roads are present. Supposing two roads are the metal roads are present, okay, and those kinds of metal roads are present here, okay. Means metal road, how we will, how we will identify is two parallel lines, okay, two red color parallel lines if it is present that is known as metal road, okay. Now for that we need to learn the different conventional signs also conventional symbols which is already given in the book we need to learn those symbols there are several symbols present over there isn't it we need to go through it we need to learn that then only we will be able to identify this looking at the map we have to identify with the help of the symbols okay so we can easily identify like supposingly this is a metal road like the metal road which we see over here isn't it sometimes what happens is only you know the broken Parallel lines will also be there that is known as unmetal road or the kacha road in a local line which if we see, okay, car track also, single rail line if we see that is known as car track, understood, there are several symbols are used in the map, we need to learn that. So here is the kind of uh, metal road is present and you know the different other car tracks are connected with it in this way, if it is connected with it. Okay, car tracks are connected with the roads and and the car tracks of these are settlements no, which are present over here, they will be very close to each other like this, the permanent houses are present in this land. The whole area or the whole place will be filled with the boxes. Okay. Or the squares or the rectangles or quarter rectangles, whatever will be there, the different area. The whole area will be filled with those kinds of settlements. 
Okay. Now this kind of settlement uh, pattern, if you see that uh, this settlement pattern will be termed as nucleated compact or cluster settlement also. Okay. If you see those kinds of pattern in the map. Answer. The next one, what we are going to do, the nucleated compact and cluster. Okay, nucleated compact or cluster. <coughs> the next one is linear settlement. Okay, linear settlement. Suppose we again a car drive or a metal road is present, and along the side of this. Along the side of this, okay, on both the side of the road, if the settlements are present in this way, okay, then it is known as the linear pattern. Okay, simple as that. Now, all the time it will not be a metal road, sometimes it will be a railway line, also it could be, uh, sometimes it could be a car track, also, understood? Sometimes it will be a stream, also, understood? Along the side of those roads or the streams and all, if you find those kinds of settlement or the pattern then it is known as linear settlement pattern okay third one is very simple again scatter or it is also known as dispersed settlement pattern scatter or dispersed settlement pattern okay as the name suggests scattered means the in the green if you see houses or the compound houses will be situated very far away from each other not close to each other not even sometimes their car track or the food path it will also not be present understood simply the houses are present and far away from each other situated located very far away from each other now those kinds of pattern uh, if you see then it is known as dispersed or the scattered settlement pattern okay now sometimes it will be like this also in the green okay you will find a car track it is ending nowhere okay and only four different houses also present like this now this will also be termed as the dispersed or the scattered settlement am i clear now the last one is your last one is your radial settlement pattern. Okay, radial settlement pattern. Now radial settlement pattern. Sometimes what will happen, students? Sometimes you will see a lake. Okay, or a nucleated village is also there. A lake, and you know a car tracks or the middle roads are emerging out from that lake. Different roads are connected to that lake. Okay, and in and around that lake, you will find settlements are present along the side of the road also. Along the side of the road also, like this, all the way. So this kind of pattern also if you see, then it will be termed as radial, okay, means emerging outside, understood? Like in the drainage there will be no centrifugal or centripetal over here, <coughs> it will be simply, <coughs> it will be simply radial pattern, okay? Now all the time it is not necessary, a lake should be present in between. Sometimes what happens, a nucleated settlement will also be there, different roads supposedly, nucleated settlement, okay? And from here, a different car tracks are emerging out. Okay, and in that car track, the car track at the end of this car track or by the side of this car track also, you will find many other smaller villages also. Okay, so these smaller villages or the smaller settlements, okay, are again connected with the main settlement area. So this kind of whole settlement is also known as your radial pattern. Now generally, uh, if you compare the whole map, if you see the whole map, then only you will be able to see those kinds of radial pattern also. Understood? One main village will be there and it will be connected with the several other smaller villages. 
Okay, so this kind of patterns is known as radial pattern. Okay, so we have discussed four main uh, settlement patterns: nucleated, okay, very close to each other, and uh, generally what we call in the local language more. Is it more? If you see, then there are you know the different uh, roots are connected with each other. Isn't it? And one focal point will also be. And then around that more you will find several houses will be present in a very compact manner. Isn't it? So that is known as nucleated settlement. Okay. Then we have linear along the side of the road, both the side of the road or a stream, the houses settlements, if it is present, that is known as linear settlement. Then we did the dispersed settlement, scattered manner. Okay. And the last one is your radial settlement. Okay, students. So with this, we come to the end of the settlement patterns. And in the book, you have several uh, you know the questions related with the settlement pattern also practice that and uh, you can send the uh, answers to me and i'll correct it and i'll send you back okay so thank you for watching